Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu, your business black belt. Be sure to watch this video all the way to the end. But before we get into the meat of the matter, there's an offer on the table to help you solve a problem that I'm actually talking about in this video. 10 courses for $200 or 10 courses or books. It all depends. Go below the video, check out the offer, and also be sure to stay to the end. All right, so what we're gonna talk about today, and this is a live stream, so you'll hear me talking to people and referencing folks who are in the chat room as soon as I get there. But we're gonna talk about the biggest problem that most business owners have when starting their business, which is the inability to sell, the inability to market, or perhaps absolute fear of selling and marketing. All right, let's see what's going on here in the chat room. Let me roll this up. What's up, Broderick? Famon, what's up? What's up, Jonathan? I know more people will be jumping in in a minute, but let's get to the, the promise, that guarantee. If, if you learn how to sell, if you learn how to market, you'll never go hungry. If you just become adequate, I'm gonna give you three levels here. If you become adequate, you'll always have money. If you become good, you'll live a very good lifestyle. You might even become rich, and I'll break down rich and wealthy in a minute. And if you become great, you're definitely gonna become rich and you have an opportunity to become wealthy. Now, rich is your house is paid for. Your car is paid for. You pay all your bills and there's plenty of money left over to save for retirement, take vacations. At that level, you're rich and you can do that at about 300 to 400 K very easily. That's rich. That's not wealthy. Wealthy is you don't have to work. Your money has worked so well for you. Your assets work so well for you. Whether you go to work in the morning or not, nothing in your life changes. That's wealthy. Just to be clear. But if you can get rich, and even if you don't get wealthy, that's still a very nice lifestyle. So let's see, what, what, what else? Whoa, we got people in here. What's up, Ace Bank? I think you changed your name. What's up, Lawrence Q? Mama needs her wine. I love that name. What's up? What's up, Carlton? Visionary Griffin, what's up? What's up, Ronnie? Gwendolyn, what's going on? And Patches, three, excuse me, Patches 301. Cool. Now let's talk about the selling thing the struggle. One of the reasons that people don't want to learn how to sell and market is because they're disgusted by sellers and marketers. There are many people who use suboptimum practices that turn a lot of people off or they use practices and don't fully understand what they're doing. And you know, like you tell people you're a salesperson without proper training, then people just think you're a con artist or a hack or someone just trying to get over. But there's this personal development thing. You cannot have what you hate. If you learn how to sell and you learn how to market properly, you can become very, very wealthy, very, you know, or rich or you know, wealthy. You, you have money. You, your money problems go away. But if you think selling and marketing is bad, you subconsciously are not going to want to learn those skills or if you learn those skills, you're not going to be good at it because subconsciously you think it's full of shit. Like I said, below the video, I have a lot of stuff to help you with that mindset and other things. Just check it out. But you got to do it. And I'm going to tell you another little secret here that many folks who are in the social media world will not tell you. No one's lying. Let's be clear. There's no one lying. I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just setting the facts straight. If you learn direct marketing, cold calling, cold email, all up in the DMs, you're gonna grow your business much, much faster than if you build content and have people come in to you, what I call inbound marketing. And the differential is stunning. If you get over your feelings, you know, you're all up in your feelings about selling and marketing, and if you contacted 50 people a day, 100 people a day, that you target it for your businesses and services, you would grow your business so fast. 
Now, let's take if you busted your ass with the social media, the content marketing aspect. Every day you put out content. It's just you. It's just incorporation you. You write articles, you do YouTube, you do Instagram, you do all of that stuff. Every day, you don't miss a day. You're a beast. It could take you many weeks, months, or a year to get your first significant sales. Whereas you do direct calling, uh, direct marketing, cold calling, such things uh, such as that, you could have your first sale today. And that's the thing. That's how you go from a zero to 350,000 really quick. Selling and direct marketing. I believe that if you're brand new to selling stuff online, you are better off with a direct marketing model. You all up in the DMs, you're on the phone, you're sending cold emails, you're doing all of that stuff than just getting online and producing content. You'll make money much faster, much, much faster. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. What's up, Diana? <laughs> oh, you're funny, David. Welcome back to the club. What's up, Russian? What's up, Melonius? What's up, John? I'm just going to call you John. I can't read that. What's up, Frank? Lamode? Uh, Gwendolyn Williams, do you know of investors for nonprofit waiver? No, I don't know of anyone. Uh, Visionary, I bought into a cleaning franchise. So do I service work, but I want to build a really big company. Where do I start? Well, you just started. You, you literally started because the thing is, I'm going to tell you something. One, thing, one of the businesses I had was a cleaning company a long, long time ago. And I'm not going to mention the franchise name because they're still around. But I didn't like the terms. For me to grow my cleaning business, because they were sending me business. They were sending me contracts. You know, that's part of the deal. I got contracts and stuff like that. But when I went out and hey, or I ran an ad and got my own customers, I made more money, much, much faster than what they were giving me. So what you need to do, Visionary Griffin, is get on the phone, put on your suit and tie, you know, suited, booted, go knock on doors, and every day, you know, every day, if you clean at night, you devote six, four to eight hours a day, knocking on doors so you get to the point where you can't knock on doors and do the work then you hire someone then you go back to knocking on doors someone has to feed the pipeline of sales what's up 31 dub just trying to market what's up david matthew campbell i learned the hard way my current marketing plan is to send 100 cold emails and cold calls lol that's good that's real good because I'm going to explain what's going to happen to Matthew. What's up, Dante? Morning. Where are you? It's uh, 2.38 here. Okay, let's get to Matthew. Uh, years and years ago, I used to work for a company called Rental Crate, and my job was to make 50 calls a day, set appointments, and it was like telesales, right? If you do 100 cold introductions, because um, in B-School for Hustlers, it's not ready yet, but also, if you take advantage of the special... I'm going to give you a $200 bonus coupon that you can use to buy something else. But I started to realize results when I stopped being afraid of the phone. I became fearless. I was just emailing people, calling people, and the results started to add up. So Matthew is going to go ahead and then he sticks to his goal. He's going to start making a lot of money. It's going to be hard. It's going to be brutal. But see, that's the problem. And... That's something that I brought to YouTube that many YouTubers don't have. If you don't know, I have another channel, Mac Daddy Media. Link's not below the channel now, but it will be after this video. But what helped me start my YouTube channel, which solved my problem of not being able to get clients or leads from my ebook, was I came out selling out the gate. Now, it pissed a lot of people off, right? There was a lot of folks who were just like, don't be so salesy. You know, I felt my uh, storage auction book, Making Money A to Z with self storage and Auctions, was the shit. And everyone that bought the book and then did the most important thing after buying the book, took action, made money. Let's see what we got here. 
franchiser. My old boss had to fire 40 employees at his clothing brand because eBay banned his account over trademark issues. He had relied on them for five years. Glendon Law strikes again. For those who don't know, it's called Cameron's Law. All third party platforms at some point are going to act in their best interest and their best interest might be fucking you. Oh, uh, I've been Oh, that's 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 crazy, man. That's really sad. David, any books that you recommend for selling and marketing? Go below the video. 10 books of courses for 200 bucks. I recommend my stuff. My stuff, my books, my training, my courses are the things that got me here. My YouTube channel is it'll be 9 years old August. And this has been 95 to 99% of my income for almost a decade. It works if you do the work. If you just buy the stuff and kind of flip through it or don't follow the directions, no, it won't work for you. But that's what I recommend. Uh, David, good question or statement here. I am not afraid of the phone, just of things that waste time, like pointless meetings, unbeneficial networking, etc. Okay, I used to feel the same way as David. What happens when you do your own work, when you make the phone calls, when you have the meetings, is you discover stuff that other people don't know. Give you an example. Um, my other channel, Mag Dandy Media. I am one of the few YouTubers, there's a few handful, that talk about using YouTube to sell. I've been using YouTube to sell for 2009. Everyone's like, don't do this, don't do that. You know, just put it out there, just kind of hope that they buy something. Uh, don't email people too much. I didn't listen to none of those people and here's the thing. Most of them are struggling right now and a lot of them, most of them are gone and a lot of the ones who remain are struggling. You're starting to see them capitulate and do things that YouTube wants or other platforms want and it ain't pretty. It looks pretty damn desperate to me. But once again, Cameron's Law, all third party platforms behave the same. So. You're not wasting time by training yourself and gaining this experience. I went to a networking event that I didn't want to go to. I thought it was bullshit. Um, I kind of researched it, folks. You know, you guys today, and you'll put this in the comments if you've ever done that. Go to someone's Facebook page. Go to someone's Instagram and research them before you meet them, right? We had to, back in the day, get on the phone. The Google wasn't like the Google is today. So you can kind of know of someone, and if you knew of someone that knew that person, you could get some intel, right? But I went in blind, and I met this chick, because it was from, from Neocon. And it was an after, and Neocon, for those who don't know, was a convention for vendors to sell their products and services to end users. I made some serious connections there and lifelong friends, people I'm still friends with to this day. And I, and I go to this networking thing because I thought it was going to be bullshit. And I meet this girl who's drunk out of her mind and she drops five things in my lap. And I start selling office furniture a few weeks later. And it's the most money I ever made. This came from a pointless meeting. Um, there was no selling going on. People were drinking, having fun, but you got to open doors and you got people with the hair down, so to speak. So a lot of those quote pointless meetings can be very beneficial if you look at them that way. Jonathan, great advice. Create and document a ton, post to Instagram daily, but I don't really DM too many people or call them. Okay. Just put this here and if you want to go below and get those 10 books for, you know, 10 books, 10 courses, whatever. I'm gonna give, you know, for $200, I'm gonna give you a $200 coupon. And the next thing that's coming for the B-School for Hustlers is either Courageous Cold Calling, I haven't really nailed down the name, but go into Jonathan's query and uh, conundrum. Cold Calling is introducing yourself and products and services to people who don't know you. That's it. You know, it's going down in the DMs. It's this. No, it's an introduction. And we're going to talk about my favorite phone still works. It works very well. If you know how to use it, we're going to talk about how to make cold calls, how to write cold emails, how to go up in the DMs, how to hit someone up on Facebook 
and have them respond back to you. How to hit someone up on LinkedIn and have them respond back to you. All of that stuff's going to be covered in, you know, so far courageous cold calling. And if you go ahead and get that special below, you can essentially get a lot of money off of that course because if you learn how to properly cold call, you get women, you get money, you get freedom. If you learn how to do that stuff. So let's move that back so I can operate a little bit better. All right. Merlonia is something from nothing philosophy. Well, you know, I, I'll go ahead and reiterate a point that I said earlier. Social media works very well. When you get it all dialed in, social media, content marketing, YouTube, Facebook, it can crush. However, it takes more time than people are telling you to correctly build. I have videos on this channel that I've done three, four, five, six years ago, seven years ago, eight years ago, that still make me money to this day. But in the beginning, when I created this YouTube channel, I didn't make any money for damn near five months. And I was putting in eight, 12 hours a day, five to seven days a week, no money. Now, fortunately, I had liquidated the business. I had money in the bank. I didn't have any debt. My car was paid off. And I set a goal of 50 grand a year and I gave myself 24 months to do it because I had to budget it out. But most folks were not in that position. The reality is you need to make some money today or this week or next week. You can't wait. Um, you know, if you've been watching the channel, you know that I've opened up an office and I'm getting ready to open up another office. And one of the challenges that I've had with that a lot of people can't wait for those three weeks, you know, back in my day, you know, in the, uh, the dinosaur age of a check in the hole. Mm -mm. I mean, folks like this tight. And right now what we've done is current pay. So people, you know, if they quit, they, there is no check that's coming or they get fired. There ain't no check coming. So it's like current pay. But that was an issue that I had to work out just to point out to you how stressed people are. And if you learn how to sell, let me give you an example. If you go to Craigslist, right, and you become a Craigslist beast, and that's one of the books you can get for, you know, $10, 10 items, you know, 10 books of courses for 200 bucks. If you go on Craigslist and stay on Craigslist eight hours a day looking for deals, I guarantee you, you will find stuff that is underpriced. Then you can take it, do better pictures, do better titles and sell it for more back on Craigslist. If you put in the time and you put in the work, that's facts. You can do that all day long. What's up, Melissa V? BZ, the wisdom seeker. That's a different kind of name. Well, G, how about managing multiple ideals into viable businesses? because maybe each one will be small income streams. Well, stay tuned on my channel B school for hustlers. I am going to talk about that because I'm going to give you the small thing right now. I have a client and we have one hustle, another hustle, then a business, then another business we're developing. Hustle one, hustle two pays the bills while we're building out business number three. Well, business number one and business number two, which are going to take time. So, if done correctly, that's viable. You create a hustle that pays your rent, right? You create a hustle that pays your health insurance. You create a hustle that pays your car note. But realize these are hustles and or if you use third party platforms, you're going to reach a point of diminishing returns unless you're really, really pushing. Because right now we have a lot of stuff and I mean, we're crunk. I mean, we, we, we're crunk and it's going pretty fast. And I'm probably going to have to hire definitely two more people next month. And I'll be discussing that stuff at B school for hustlers. Um, so it's doable. Visionary Griffin. I have no idea how to cold call or do marketing. Where do I start? First of all, I'm going to tell you this, because what, what is this about going from zero to $350,000 guaranteed income? If you learn how to sell, you can do that in these United States of America today. And this is the reason why. Visionary Griffin, I have no idea how to cold call or do marketing. Where do I start? Visionary Griffin, you are fucking lying. And I'm gonna explain it to me. You ever saw a honey, a girl, a chick, and she was so nice and you felt compelled to go over and introduce your dusty ass? Guess what? That was a cold call. 
same process. Hey, and what did you do? You went over, you introduced yourself, you took the meat out your teeth, right? You got clean, you straightened up your hat, checked your breath, and you went over and introduced yourself. That's a fucking cold call. So you know how to do it. You just don't want to do it because it's hard. So don't give me that. This is Hustlers Kung Fu. The black belt of business. We, we're, we're, we take no prisoners here, man. So you know how to do it. You just don't want to do it. And it's tough. There's a lot of rejection. On that same note, if you are a male and if you introduce yourself to 10 women every day, you will never suffer from lonely nights. 10 women every day. Hi, my name is Greg. I mean, it don't have to be in the game. It don't even have to be anything um, really slick. You can just like, hi, my name's Greg. How are you doing? I was like, you know, you look really lovely. What's your number? Boom, that's it. You did that 10 times a day. Your weekends would be packed from now into eternity. Let's see. Um, Melissa V, did you check out Netflix Girl Boss about the nasty girl thing? I know it was dramatized, but was the basic idea she took crap listings and made them look awesome. Um, I didn't read it, but I have done similar things. Here, here's the thing about marketing. Give you an example. Whenever I sell a car, you know, it's the first thing I do. I go get it detailed. And then when I take my pictures of the car, I go somewhere with great sun so the pictures pop. That's called presentation. So what she did, it worked. And I mean, the girl was a thief. She, you know, read a book. She had a crazy life. So it does work. Uh, young Raptor. So how do I learn these skills? OK, just like I said to uh, BZ, the wisdom seeker. No, that was visionary Griffin. OK, practice. Find something that you want to sell and practice. You can't read your way to money. You can't podcast listen your way to money. You can't watch YouTube videos to money. You actually have to go out and do stuff. So that's how you learn the skills. Pick one or two things that you're interested in and actually start doing them. Uh, Antonio Business. Hello, send the link for Craigslist book. Uh, this is what you do. I'm really getting um, better because uh, there's a lot of stuff you, you think you haven't seen nothing. You think I was putting out content before you ain't seen you guys have seen nothing. For those of you who want the Craigslist book and other books, go to Hustlers Kung Fu. I'm going to put it in the chat. HustlersKungFu.com. And there's a lot of information there for you. Plus, I have everything segmented. What? I forgot where. No, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm doing this live stream, so I, I'm not set up with uh, Google, and I didn't uh, set that up yet. But go to hustlerskungfu.com, and you will have audio books. You'll have courses and books. It's all very well laid out for a change. Let's see. Ying, what's up? Are you in China? Uh, Visionary Griffin, I need that, bro. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. You know how to cold call. You just don't want to do it. Joel S. Cold calling is hard because will needs to be handled rejection like a man order. If you if you send out 100 flyers and make 100 calls, if you get two to three response rate, you're doing awesome. Yes. In the beginning, if you are not trained, you don't have any skills. If you just made 100 introductions a day, you would get business. And what would happen is you will reach a point of frustration and then you'll start either to work on your craft or you will go out and buy books. When I was working at Rental Crate, I sucked on the phone. I, it just did. I mean, it was, I was terrified. I was like, oh God, I got to call these people. And I knew that I had to perform because they would fire you. And I can't, excuse me, I can't remember the name of the book. It was red and black cover. I got it from this site called Luponics.com. And this guy wrote this book about cold calling. And I, I read the book three times and I went to work and I started using the stuff. And holy moly, it started working. I got people to call me back from a voicemail. And I'll talk about those techniques and stuff in the cold calling course. But you're right, Joel, it is hard. I use stock photos so you can find the same thing. Uh, that show is awesome. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go back. Rana Starker. Hey, Jeff. I finally have my LLC and YouTube channel up and running. Thanks for being a daily inspiration. You're correct. This shit is hard. Yes, uh, it, it is. And that's where many people struggle because you see all this stuff on Instagram. You see 
this lovely stuff on Facebook and these people who are living these incredible lives and you feel and they're, and they're young and they're really, really young and you're feeling somewhat uncomfortable. You're feeling somewhat inadequate because I could tell you a lot of that shit's bullshit. There are some people who are really living that life. There are some 17, 18, 19, 20, 25 year olds who are really doing it big. They found some, they hit it real hard and they're making a lot of money. Um, most of them, mm -mm. a lot of it's a facade. Uh, Broderick, I learned sales through sales job. If I didn't sell, I didn't eat. Same here. David Boyd, go fail and learn. Uh, Glennon, where's your video? It's here on YouTube. It's five business counts for business owners. Yes, the sales job. We'll train you. Uh, young Raptor, not to be an asshole, but why should I be taking advice from you? Well, you don't have to take advice from me. You don't. But for some reason, you tuned in. Now, ask yourself, why did you tune in? Because whatever someone says not to be an asshole, that's a direct challenge. And let's keep it real. This is Hustlers Kung Fu, the black belt of business. You're saying, I don't fucking believe what you're saying. Hey, you can say, you can say that to my face. I was homeless. I've almost died. A booty call saved my life. So you dialing what I'm talking about, I don't really give a fuck. But all I got to say to that is continue to watch me climb. And then kick yourself in the ass when you realize you could have got in early. Because here, here's the thing. I have courses. Everyone has courses. But, you know, there's something that all of us have that we cannot buy. Time. So the longer you keep going around, doubting this doesn't work, not taking action, the further you're going to be away from the money. The further you're going to be away from your success. So, hey, doubt on. But check my resume. Is that kind of gangster? Yes. Check my fucking resume, because unlike a lot of folks, there's a timeline on me. I didn't just come out of nowhere. <clears throat> uh, Jay the Great, I'm going to start blogging, promoting Uber and Lyft referral codes. Jay the Great 85, I'm going to give you some advice. Don't do that. Ride share is a very hard thing to monetize. It's a low income deal. A lot of people have tried it and they have struggled and they make some money, but no, pick something else. I don't normally don't tell people stuff like that, but I, I did it. I wrote a book on Uber. I drove for Uber for six weeks. 2014, I jumped out of it because I saw where it was going. You cannot scale. You cannot upsell. It's a very, very limited um, thing to do. So don't do it. Just I'm trying to save you some time here. All right, Yang, glad you're here. Jacob Brown, what's up, your realness? Hey, what's going on? Outside my element, you rock. I appreciate it. Uh, Young Raptor, what is your best course you offer? Wrong question. This is what everyone's trying to do. Okay. When I was a kid, way back in the Stone Ages, BC before cable, there was this term, everything's not for everybody. Forget about the best course that I offer. It may not be for you. You may not even like that shit. What you need to do before you buy anything is sit down and ask yourself these three questions. Where do I want to be in 10 years? Because the work that you do today is going to predicate where you will be in 10 years. Do you want to be married? Do you want to have a house? Do you want to travel? Do not find, quote, the best course or the shiny object, or all that bullshit. Figure out what makes you tick, because if you get something that you're really interested in and dedicated in, you can make a lot more money, a lot saner than that. So it isn't the best course. You know, so, uh, one of the things that I push people to do is to do the work of discovering what's your thing, which is hard. Many of us don't know what we want to be when we grow up, but that's what you got to do. I put out a lot of courses, but figure out how you want to live. Now, I'll give you some examples of me. I don't like traveling that much other than vacation. I'm a homebody. So... Why would I go out and create a lifestyle where I got to, you know, travel uh, the speaking circuit, uh, being a speaker at social media events and stuff? It pays a lot of money if you're good. I want nothing to do with it. I've had people after me for years like, why don't you come speak here? I don't want to do it because it doesn't fit into what I want to do with my life, nor how do I want to spend my time, even though the quote, the money's good. The money's good, but I would hate that shit. So think about what makes you excited and go there. 
David, those 17, 18 year millionaires started from a different spot like you pointed out before. They had the basics provided to them and the opportunities most of us just don't get if they're real. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell any kid this. If you're 16, 17, 18, and mom and dad are still paying all the bills, and you don't have to pay a mortgage or anything, rock that shit out. Uh, young rap, I don't want to take advice from a nobody. I'm not saying you want, but prove that you aren't. Go to Google.com and Glenn, Google Glendon Cameron. See, part of the thing is, and you know, I'll, I'll put this out here, is I get this stuff from people who are desperate. Uh, recently, a few weeks ago, they had this guy. Let me tell you what he did. He went on and he started off just like you proved to me. Um, I've got 2,000 videos on this channel. I've got two educational platforms. I've been doing this nine years. If that doesn't speak to you, there is nothing I can say or do that's going to convince you because you're already convinced I'm full of shit. And I'm not in the business of trying to unconvince people when nine out of 10 people who come to this channel are already convinced and they buy products. I'm just keeping it real to you because as a business owner, you got two choices. You can put your time in something that makes money or you can go chase rainbows. I don't chase rainbows. I chase money. Uh, the Hectrix, how many hours a day do you recommend spending on the Hustlers Kung Fu courses? The way I try to design it is you actually take the course and actually do something. Just sitting like um, the next course is going to be more action oriented. Don't take a course and like spend a whole week taking a course. Do a module, do an activity. That's so do what you can until you can do more. It isn't um, you shouldn't spend eight hours just sitting there learning something like that. You're going to burn out. But 30 minutes to two hours a day should be plenty. If you're executing, it should be plenty. Uh, let's see, the JWB is talking to Young Jock, Melissa, Cash from Clutter, oh snap, I call a live stream, what are we talking about? <laughs> Just tune, uh, let's see, Matthew Campbell, how can I improve my cold mail emailing? First thing you want to do, and this is what I do whenever I cold call somebody now, I research them. I research them. I spend 30 minutes to an hour figuring out who they are and I find flaws that I can fix and point that shit out. And uh, last email I sent went like this and it wasn't long either. It was like, hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. I checked out how you're doing your YouTube videos. And if you're happy with the way things are going, please ignore this email. If you want things to change and if you keep doing what they're, you're doing, they won't, then call me. That was pretty much it. And I've sent it out. Everybody responded. You got to remember, um, people put what you're talking about in the header and keep it as brief as possible with hitting all the meat. And nobody wants a five paragraph email. They're not going to read it. They're just going to automatically delete it. Let's see. Uh, Antonio, I'm a fine artist. Can I benefit from your course and we'll do an art somehow? Okay. You need to learn how to sell. I don't know what kind of art that you sell. And also, you know, before you even buy anything, what you need to do is figure out what kind of artist you want to be. And you need to put your stuff out all over social media. If you are an artist and you're not putting out a piece of art or content on your Facebook, your Instagram or something every day, you're just playing. So do that first. How can I be a millionaire when I'm only 17? Start selling stuff. Now, a lot of people will go, well, that's a vague answer. No, it isn't. It's, it's loaded with gold because here's the thing you got to do. You have to get off the Internet. You have to put down play box and you have to spend significant time out there selling stuff, whatever it may be. Legend 89, great advice, but direct selling does not work on every region of the world. I have been with my own up to eyes. What can I safely say to people who have lost their faith in direct sellers in our region? Where are you? Uh, direct sales work very well in the United States of America. It works very well in the UK, Australia, uh, Japan. I don't know. C 
CC Day, Glenn, and I'm still jerking off in my mom's basement, but fun at my textile printing shop from your videos and porn. <laughs> That's funny. What's up, Jesus Sebastian? What's up, Ace? Nigel Pearson, how can I improve my door-to-door -door sales closing rate? First of all, door-to-door -door is very much about presentation. Uh, a lot of people who go to door to door kind of look like shit that don't put a lot of into their appearance. So even if it's hot, you want to be suited and booted. You want to be as clean as possible. You want to shave. Um, look, you, you're free to wear your hair or whatever, any way you want. But if you want to make more money, have a haircut or a nicely trimmed up goatee. The cleaner you look, the faster you will build trust. I'm not saying you're not doing these things. And also, you got to hit every door. You got to, I did it, it's hard. But the thing is, first of all, you're, you're an interruption when you knock on someone's door. You don't know if they're fucking, you don't know if they're watching their favorite cartoon. So your pitch has got to be, bam, you got to grab them in the five or 10 seconds. Who, what, when, and where. Uh, the Hectorus, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Uh, Jay Sup, any advice for salesmen and wireless sales? Dude, okay. Um, wow. Everybody has a phone, everyone needs a phone, and if you're under 25, your phone is more important to you than your car. What you need to do is figure out what people want. If you sell phones, you need to do a review channel. And, you know, if someone comes in and it's like, hey, you know, I'm interested in this Samsung, I'm interested in an iPhone, you need to have on YouTube some videos that you've done explaining the highs and lows and talk about like, hey, I'm working here at something, something carrier. And what I've experienced from being on the sales floor and talking to thousands of customers as this phone does this, this phone does that. You need to educate, 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 because like iPhones are pretty simple. Samsung's those things you can mod, you can customize and mod to the earth ends. And you got to talk about that stuff. Let's see. Uh, uh, critical Lab. Salute. I, I'm an artist from Montgomery, Alabama, living in Louisiana. I have no problem selling in person or hand to hand, but I find it a bit harder on the Internet because I'm not intimate. It's not intimate to me. Any tips? OK, uh, we, we talked about this earlier. Selling on the Internet is a long term game. Um, you look at, let's take the Shabaka mom. Everyone knows this woman did this funny video on Facebook. It went viral and Cole sold a bunch of Chewbacca masks. All right. Let's look at the back end of that. Kohl's already had thousands of masks. Why? Because they were stored. Kohl's had hundreds, dozens. I don't know how many stores they have. So this video introduced people to an infrastructure that was already built. And you see these things that go wild, and, you know, like uh, Jenner, Molly Jenner, Kylie Jenner. She has the infrastructure of a rich ass family full of wisdoms. Uh, Ryan Seacrest mentored Kim Kardashian. Dick Clark mentored Ryan Seacrest. These are these intangibles that no one talks about that are super important. So art on the Internet is very hard. But if you want to sell art, you would do better off going to trade shows, art shows and displaying your work. Uh, hey, Jinx, can you explain how to find items to sell and how you can find them cheaply or could you recommend items to sell? Uh, no, that's that's me getting granular on that stuff. This isn't a reseller channel, so I, I can't get into that. What I can say is go to below the video, go to the Gumroad store, and I have storage auction books, a Craigslist book, a storage auction book. Those will help you do that stuff. Uh, Rona. She's a great mentor with a great underdog story to serve from the bottom. Now we're here. I like Drake. I do. I like him a lot. You know what? He's really putting out a lot of banging hits in the last two years. Dude's on fire. Uh, Mr. Safety Forever, we're genuinely judged uh, by our parents. Yep. Oh, you're in Africa. Oh, man, that's a whole different game plan right there. 
Uh, thriller, where can I find a reliable Craigslist postal assistant? What's the reason for that? If you want someone to be reasonable, you like 15 bucks an hour, and you're just going to have to look for someone to do it. V. Branson Designs. Hey, gee, I have a web service. If you were a web developer and had a web design and hosting service, how would you approach filing, filling your pipeline? The online market, I feel, is too saturated. V. Branson Designs, I would, get on the, I would do this. Actually, if you're going to watch me on Mac Daddy Media, I'll be doing this once we get this uh, client built out. I'm going to target people. And what I mean is, this is what I did at rent crate We had our leads broken up. Targets were the Fortune 2000. So when I got a little education, I started to research as much as possible about the person that I want to talk to. It's easier ever, now than ever. I mean, you can go on faith. Most people's Facebook pages are wide open. So you let's say you want you first. You got to define who do you want to work with? Uh, do you want to serve lawn services? Do you want to serve pool services? Do you want to serve uh, clothing brands? Pick a niche that you want to serve. Then find someone that's moderately successful and go to them with an offer. Hey, I'm going to do some crazy, wonderful web service stuff for you. But I'll do it for free. But what I need for you to do is to agree to give me a recommendation in person using your real name. Because one of the things where I went wrong is I did a lot of work for people, but they didn't want me to know that they didn't want people to know that I was helping them. I mean, I had one dude who was just, yo, man, I need your help. But don't tell nobody I'm working with, you know, because you like the bad boy of the Internet. You know, you got a lot of haters. I don't want those haters coming my way. And I just said, OK, well, you know. For you, since you won't be like that, the price is this, which was three times what I normally charge, and he paid it. And I was like, ooh. So that's what you do. Now, Branson, it's got to be more defined than small business. You have to have a particular business. Cold calling. You can't have a funnel unless you've got something to fill it in. Charlatan, you're cracking me up. Go to flea markets. I mean, I invested 15000 Jehodo Brown, in my cleaning franchise. My package was for 4000 I only received 2000 a month of my own business. The franchise is not giving me no business. It's been six months. What should I do? You should start cold calling. Um, typically, with the franchise things, is there's some gotchas in the contract because with mine, which I didn't honor, and that's why I'm not mentioning the name, if you go out and get business, you're supposed to still pay them that whatever percentage you're supposed to pay them. I would go out and get new business and I would not tell them. Start cold calling. Hard. All right. Los Angeles is a great place for art. Uh, CC Day 26 Linden. I'm also making bulk ammo for 300 blackout AR 15s. How can I market this ammo? To sell legally dude dude okay uh what you do is you create a youtube channel and you st you you just start shooting your shit and put a link where people can contact you they will find you i, I will tell you a a story in a minute about guns let's see uh, when is the next installment of the Rich Self-Published Doctor coming out? Sometime this month. Broderick, my rules for selling to an email list. An email list, Kindle Books is growing fast. Make it fun and entertaining. Okay. All right. Uh, you make the videos. Well, it depends upon your state. I'm going to tell you the gun story. All right. Back in the day before storage wars, used to get guns all the time. I bought a unit. I got 26 guns out of one unit. And I knew people, other storage auction people who came from Tennessee, Alabama. And whenever I wanted to liquidate a gun, I was just like, hey, I got X. What do you want? They would give me whatever I want because, you know, a lot of people want to have a gun that's just not registered. So in the state of Georgia, I could do that. Where you are, I don't know. If you're in New York, don't do that. If you're in Los Angeles, don't do that. So if you want to sell this stuff, 
you may actually have to move to a state that's more gun friendly, like Nevada or somewhere. Let's see, where are we here? I'm just checking the time. Okay, we're still good. So I'm going to get back to the whole selling thing. And the best thing to sell is something that you believe in. There are many people, someone was asking, like, what's the best course? Don't go that route. Find something that you really believe in. I believe in my shit because it worked for me. And if you do the work, it'll work for you, maybe. And I'm going to go a little deeper on that. Everyone doesn't learn the same way. Everyone doesn't have the same aptitudes. So you can have one person who could take a course and crush it. You can have another person take the course and fucking fell out. It's, you see it in school. Um, you see it in college. So it isn't so much the course, it's you. If you are a person, and I think this is the best way most people learn, is read about it and do it. There was this um, webinar that I watched 10 times because they were talking about how to sell stuff online without creating it. And I tried it and failed. And I watched it again. And I tried it and failed. I watched it again. And the 10th time that I watched it, I realized there was four steps because I was rushing through it that I didn't do. So the content was solid. My execution was poor. And when I filled in those gaps, boom, the shit worked. So you got to do the work. Now, just for those of you who are interested and still here for because I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to give you a big ass bonus. And what you got to do is and you only get the bonus after you buy the deal below. But I'm putting this in this video. What you can do is email and the email is below in the video. Valencia at B School for Hustlers and say, I want the $500 coupon. Now, I'm going to have some courses out there, some Mac Daddy courses, some big courses. They're not going to be cheap because just the information I'm giving you in this video, if you execute, if you learn how to sell, if you actually go out there and do it, this information will feed you, give you money for life. Life. It isn't just for next week or yesterday or tomorrow. It's for life. So do that. I want the $500 special. Put that in the subject line and email her and then she'll get back to you when we release the stuff. So that's a serious ass bonus for you guys. Uh, let's see. Alan Clark, go Google search for polished carpet cleaning. He turned a carpet cleaning business into a gold mine by learning how to create direct response Adverts. Okay, that's what I've been saying. Direct response marketing. If you're brand new, you should spend 90% of your time direct response marketing. Cold calling, put stuff out, cold emailing, because it's going to make your money so much faster. Let's see. Matthew Campbell, why don't other internet marketers talk about cold approaches? How they're getting leads online only techniques. Now, to be real, you can make a lot of money from online leads, but you have to look at the construction of your internet guru or whoever you're following. Whoever you like, look at their peer group. All of these guys, and there's nothing wrong with this, it's very smart business, they work together. So you're internet marketer A, and you're cool with internet marketer B, C, D, E, F, and G, then you launch your product, and you're like, hey, if you run this to your list, I'll give you 50% of the commission. Hell yeah, because like, let's say I know one guy he didn't even sell that many. He sold someone's product. It was $3,000 and he sold about 20. You know, so off the cuff, that was 60 grand. He got $30,000 from running an offer through his list. So that's how they do it. They don't actually make money from just straight content marketing. They make money from going to shows, going to conventions, uh, JV, joint ventures. That's what it's called. Uh, there's so many things. There's not a lot of money who there's a lot of, there's not a lot of people who are making money from strict internet direct response without any help. That's what I do. That's why I am such an advocate of cold calling and direct response marketing. It really works if you work it. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. 
Uh, it's not right there, so come back if you're on this live stream and watch the, you know, go below the video. I'm gonna put the links to the other YouTube channels. There's Mac Daddy Media, which is about video marketing. There's B School for Hustlers, which is for seasoned business owners. There's Rich Self Published Author, which is about self publishing, blogging, and such. And personal development, personal development for hustlers. I haven't got that started, but there will be a lot of content there this month. There, it's about the mindset of the hustler because. Typically, many people are walking around with self-limiting beliefs and they can't succeed because they're killing, they're internally killing their own success. All of those channels and stuff will be below. And once again, grab that offer. Uh, the live streams are coming back. I'm not going to say they'll be daily, but they'll be coming back. And if you're not on the email list, which is below, you want to get on that email list so you can get first notification. I don't advertise these things like two or three days. I advertise them anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes before I do it. I found that that gets the most response and works much better than because you don't want three or four emails from me reminding you that this webinar is starting. I'm just going to send one. Just letting you know. All right. So that's it. Like I said, be sure to subscribe. And if anything in this video irked your fancy, be sure to leave it in the comments. So with that, I will see you guys later.